Good afternoon and welcome to Hudson Fields, Hazen Union High School in Hartford. Vermont. It's your Hazen Union Wildcats taking on the Thetford Panthers today in baseball action. James Salvas doing play-by-play. -play. Lance Hall here with the tag along. First pitch. Take it away, James. Here we go. We see Andrew the Mahler Menard on the mound today for the Wildcats. First pitch is a ball low and we're underway. That is Xander Oshaniyi in the batter's box for the Thetford Panthers. Lance, this is the uh, semifinal matchup in the Division Three for the last two years. Head on the ground hard. Moody's gonna scoop it up on a hop, fire quick to first base and got him. So two pitches and one out there for Menard. Nice play to get things rolling here. Yeah, and I think of the last two years we have split that series, correct? Yes, Hazen lost to Thetford a couple years ago in a great game and they won here in a pretty good game last year. Yes, they did, I remember that game. You're watching Hazen Wildcat Baseball on HCTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, Esport Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Now uh, Nolan Pepe stands in for the Thetford Academy Panthers. One of two seniors yes. here for the Panthers today. Lance honoring our know, seniors. As you just read, did the read. Exactly, honoring our seniors here today, their last uh, uh, regular season home game. Yes, we have James Montgomery doing the catching, Tyler Rivard at short, Lyle Rooney at third base, and Jaden Baker out in center. Four guys that have played a lot of baseball together. Yes, in there for a strike. That's a curveball in there by Menard. Menard has been a pretty good uh, pretty good hurler the last few years for the uh, Wildcats. He has. He plays a solid third base as well. He does and hits the ball well. And swings a mean hockey stick. Sure does. On the ground, man, Moody getting active early over there at second base, getting a lot of action. <laughs> Two straight outs. You see that one, Lance, yeah. just a little pitch kind of over to the first baseman, a little yeah. easy flip there. So two quick outs for Menard and the uh, Wildcats. Now Boone Fahey stands in. He is the third baseman today for the Panthers. A name that both of us have called many times during basketball season. Yes. Solid athlete right here. He is, Boone Fahey. Two outs. That's a great name too, by the way. Yeah, killer, killer athletic name. Can I have your license? Yeah. Yeah. Sir, I've seen you driving. First pitch in there for a ball by Menard. No wind and fire. That's hit on the ground foul over behind third base. That's one thing you'll see, Lance. Menard works very fast on the mound. He wastes little time. I like it. No Me need, too. No need for a pitch clock with Andrew. Yeah, no need. He's going to beat it every time. Absolutely. Speaking of pitch clock, Lance, it's kind of weird seeing that in the majors. It sure is. Who'd have thunk it? Swing and a miss. Nice pitch there. One and two count now to Fahey. Well, nice stop by Montgomery. Good to see him back and healthy behind the plate. Yeah, we played last, last night as well. He did. We saw him last time take a ball off like his foot or his ankle or something. And yes. Ended up having to leave the game. He played last night, Lance. Okay. Looks like he's back 100%. And yes, and three. swing and a miss. Three up and three down for the Mahler. Yes, the Mahler, one, two, three in and to start the game, folks. And we will be right back in the bottom half. So Jaden Baker stands in now, folks, as we are back. He will stand in to lead things off for the Wildcats. He'll face Oshaniyi on the mound for the Panthers. That's kind of a tongue twister for us today, Lance. You'll get it down, James. I'm sure you will. First pitch strike in there. Good pitch. And you were saying top of the order is our four seniors? Yes. Nice. One, two, three, four. For Spencer Howard's Wildcats. Swing and a miss. You see Jaden Baker wasting little time swinging the bat, Lance. Jaden likes to swing. Yes, as he's down 0-2. He had a four for four game in the last game we called against Howard on Thursday. It. Crushing hits last time. Swing and a miss, so Not three pitches number. and three strikes and a strikeout there for Oshaniyi. Seems like he throws the ball pretty well on the mound, Lance. I saw him in warm-ups and he is very accurate. Yeah, I didn't really get a chance to watch a whole lot of warm-ups. We were, uh, I was kind of getting ready to do the, the senior announcements down there, but if you say so, I believe it. So one, uh, three pitches and one out for Oshani Yi. Make no sure one fire. And Rivard, first pitch, swinging base hit in the left field. So Tyler Rivard getting the Wildcat offense going. And you know if Tyler's on first, he's not gonna stay there for long. Oh, absolutely not. I'm gonna give it about one pitch and he'll be headed for second. Oh, absolutely. You know Howard's gonna have them in motion as soon as they get to first base. 
James Montgomery up next. Yes, James. Also swings a mean bat. Yes, James Montgomery. These first four hitters, Lance, all swing a mean bat for the Wildcats. Most of the guys in the lineup do, actually, if I'm yeah. being honest. And they are aggressive once they get on the bases. They certainly are. Lance Aisha Gould, the former Lakeview Laker, making his way over. Another nice alumni in attendance. Absolutely. He was a big, crucial member of this team last year, the former first baseman. I mean, just another fantastic season here for the Cats. Yes. Quick move back to first base. Revard, a little unorthodox dive back in there to first, but he's in there. Knew about, like, Tyler, Tyler let's, see, uh, let's see what they do with the base runners today out here. We've seen a lot of teams try to stop us, but they don't. Yes, but Thetford, we know, is a Tyler. very, very good and well-coached yeah. team. Tyler with the lead. There he goes. There's the Rebard on the move. He's going to dive in, and he's out at second base. You nice. don't see that very often. No, nice throw there by Spooner behind the plate. No, Lance, you don't see the Hazen Wildcat guys thrown out often, no. so two quick outs now for the Wildcats. They usually, so. usually roll the dice and it comes up sevens. At that time it comes up snake eyes. Yep. Inside. Two, uh, one and one the count now to Montgomery from Oshani Yee. Two outs, bottom of the first. <laughs> he winds and fires. Whoa for a ball, nice stop behind the plate. <laughs> Shawnee, he kicks and delivers. And Montgomery, he strikes one. Oh, slide by the second baseman. Throw to first safe. That's going to be an infield hit there for Montgomery. He turned on the Jets heading down the first yeah, baseline. Yeah, he had some serious speed because I, I knew it was going to be close, and it was. But, uh, Fahey made a nice play there at second base. Great play to get it over there and make it that close. That's Mason Fahey. Lance, right. not Boone. Boone's over at third. Oh. Assuming his brother at second base. You think? No, why are you? All right, Lyle Rooney. Yes. At the plate now. The Lyle thing. No, Two outs. Quick moves James back James to first back. base. Montgomery will dive in. You see, Lance, it seems like these Thetford Panthers know all about the Hazen Wildcats and their tendencies as they have met quite a few times in very big games in the last couple of years, as we yeah. previously mentioned. So. Safe to say they've got them scouted out. These two teams know each other pretty well. Yeah, that back up. See that, Lance, even the catcher throwing down. They're wasting no time keeping the Wildcats in check today on the base path. I was just watching Spencer give the signals. I couldn't tell if he was telling James to take a bigger lead or asking him if he wanted Chinese or pizza tonight after the game. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I think he said Chinese, Lance. Yeah. Holy shit. Hey, Club, you got to throw. Lance, you know, you made me laugh with that uh, stepping on the Lego in the dark thing the other day. Yeah. That was uh, quite funny. Well, yeah, when you said you, you get used to, there it goes, Montgomery, you fell back. Oh, now James has got to scurry back down to first base. Yeah, I, I mean, I realize you said eventually you get used to getting hit by a baseball. I don't think I could ever get used to it, just like I've never gotten used to stepping on the Lego in the dark with my bare feet. You never really get used to that. Is it going to be hard? No. <laughs> well, the sun's about to come out. So I, mean, I, I was scared enough just being down there close to where I was to do the, the announcing. Ball and a strike now for Rooney. That's fouled away over to third. Oh, nice hands there by Howard. You see, trying to scoop that one up. That's got to hurt, Lance. The bare hand. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. No. <laughs> the ball are on deck. As you see, a huge crowd here today, Lance. This might be the best turnout we've had all year. Well, it's the best weather we've had all year. Absolutely. After freezing to death out here, we got you know it's, it's decent. We got a little bit of a breeze, some clouds, some sun. The Hall Mountain Vortex probably Hall coming Mountain in tomorrow. Vortex, Lance. Yeah, big time tomorrow. There's gonna be a front come in. Uh, there'll probably be flurries up there tomorrow. Yeah, who knows? Up in Greensboro Bend. Uh, the Hall Mountain Vortex is right behind us. And Jason Montgomery back once again. Yes, that was close. close Lance. He wanted him. He did. Oshani, you wasted no time on the mound making pickoff moves. I tell you, Lance, I saw one up at Linden, uh, one of the college pitchers. Uh, his name was Will Harriman for the Maine Farmington Beavers. Threw about eight pickoff moves before he threw one pitch. Does Montgomery foul back. He's going to have to go back again. He is. Rooney on it, though, at the plate. He's protected. Lance, you see Challenging. Another, Lance, another great athlete in attendance today, Derek Richardson. Derek was a great athlete. Yes, he was. Sure was. He played soccer at London for a few years, Lance. Excellent ba uh, basketball player. He was. Came up huge at the odd. Yes. Ooh, Lance, that looked good. Two and two now. It did. A little blooper in there. What was that? Was that a curve or? Looked like a curveball to me, Lance. The old Uncle Charlie. I was going to say. A yacker. 
Oshani back on the rubber now. Montgomery out there just daring him to throw over. And he does. Montgomery said, you can throw back as much as you want. You ain't getting me, my friend. Did you see Rooney here? He, I think he's gonna wanna find some outfield grass out there. There's Montgomery again, hit down on the ground. Oh, there, hit hard. Rooney digging down the first base line. Oh, beat him by a quarter of a step at first yeah. base. That was a close play, Lance. Rooney's a little faster than people would think. He is, he's fast, but I'll tell you, the third baseman made a great play on the bobble to get it over there too. First sure for that final out of the inning. So at the end of one, score is zip zip here at Hudson Fields. We'll be right back. They have bottled water. All right, back here at the uh, top of the second, you're watching Hazen Wildcat basketball, uh, baseball, yeah, on HCTV Channel 1080. Old habits die hard. Uh, www.hctv.us, streaming-wise. And we are sponsored today by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport Hazen Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lsd.org. Lance Owen Goodrich stands in now as we got a 0-0 game headed to the top of the second. Menard, he'll wind and fire. That's fouled back to the fence. Owen won the count now. And Lance, speaking of Dan Hudson Fields, Dan Hudson is in attendance today. I saw, I saw him. him. Yep. He's Always here. good when Dan Hudson's in attendance. Yeah, that's right. Likes to make these events. Sure does. Especially when the fields are named after him. Yeah. That's hit on the ground. Little roller down the third base line. That's going to scoop foul. Oh, nice move there by Rooney. You see, swiping it foul, Lance. You see. I might have told you about that last year. You see, when they're, those balls that are right on the line, Lance, especially on a bunt too, a lot of times the third baseman is just going to sweep it foul. And yes, you are allowed to do that. Damien, there's no more beverages. There was more, we would give you some. That's exactly what Andrew did, a heads up play. Yes, 0 oh, 2. Or Lyle. I know, I'm so used to Lyle being on the mound. So I used to him being at third. Menard will wind and fire. That's right, Lyle with a heads up play over there. At third. Ooh, that looked good, just a hair low. Count one and two. Yep, ball and two strikes now to Goodrich. He's playing shortstop for the Panthers. That's it on the ground. Rooney, he'll scoop it up. Ooh, quick throw over to first, Lance. You see that? He's got a velocity even from the field. Yeah. I mean, Lyle's just an all around great baseball player. He is. Made that look easy over there. Liking the music in between innings here today? It's kind yes. Of nice. Tom Petty last time. Yeah, Lance, you pick it today? No, I didn't. That's uh, Sue Rebar doing it today. So oh, nice. They didn't have you down there spinning, Lance? No, no. I'm just going to be up here tagging along. <laughs> Jake Gilman stands in now, center fielder for the Panthers. Menard winds and fires. Whoa, nice block there by Montgomery. That one's going to scoot out of play, though. I'm so sorry, dude. Menard asking for a new ball on the mound. You see, Lance, one thing they'll do usually is, at least at the college level, they they got like a pile of dirt, and they're going to take it, and they usually rub the ball in it a little bit because it can't be perfectly, completely white, Lance. Right. High for a ball. 2-0 and now to Gilman. Menard, he'll kick and deliver. Low for a ball. 3-0 and now, Lance, to Gilman. Menard looked real sharp. Uh first inning. He did. Kind of, and he uh, got a quick out to yeah. start the inning. Yeah. Menard losing a little bit of a... Uh, kind of, he's kind of uh, all over the place here. Set some highs, some lows. Let's see if he can dial it in here and throw a strike. A little, losing a little grip on that ball there. There we go. Oh, Lance, that one I thought he called a strike. I thought so too. That's going to be a four-pitch ball, or walk. Now Dempsey McGovern stands in, Lance. Another great, great they baseball name. Great man. sports names. They really do. You know, Lance, I, I mentioned this last year. We're seeing, the, you know, Thetford having a little white and red. I thought their colors were blue and yellow and white. I knew they had the blue. I didn't know about uh, the red. Uh, yeah, the red. I wasn't aware of that. There is a strike. There That's the one Menard was looking for. Baller's pitch, looking for it. McGovern, J.D. Farrell on deck. He's DHing for Mason Gil uh, Mason Fahey. McGovern oh, right back, back here to us. Yeah. There. Don't worry, Lance, I would have caught it. Yeah. Remember that, James. Can't let you or the equipment get hurt back here, Lance. And I am scared of the ball, so I'm going to go the other way. Oh, yeah, Lance, I think you would be headed for the school if that happened. <laughs> I get hit once, I'm out of here. Yep, I'm, down. I'm doing it by myself for yep. the rest of the day. Lance is done for the uh, season. Go over and get in my car and go home. <laughs> There's a good one. Strike three, pair of shoes, Andrew Menard. Tech goes to the wall, second K of the day for Andrew Menard. 
This one, a parachute is Lance. That's what we call a look and strike. Okay. A backwards K. Ah, all right, all right. You're going to get me up to date on all the baseball terminology. Now, J.D. Farrell stands in, as I said, Lance. He's dh for Mason Fahey. And anytime you got your first name is initials, you know, like J.D. and all that stuff, you know. That's cool. It yeah. is. You so know. J.D. Farrell stands yeah. in. You saw a quick pickoff move there by Menard over to first base. Outside, nice block by Montgomery, one of the four seniors behind the dish. I think he learned a lot from Little Shopper his freshman year. Sure he did. Or sophomore year, I should say. He was solid, yeah. He was. So what are we at? Top of the second, we got two outs. Runner on yep. first. Another nice stop there by Montgomery. I thought about going to first on that one, try and catch the runner leaning the other way. Yep, 2-0 and oh now to Farrell. <laughs> Menard now, he's gonna come set. He'll kick and deliver. That's in there for a strike. Nice pitch by Menard. For strike two? Okay, strike two. Strike two. There's two outs. Uh, or no, two, one strike lines. I was outs. looking at the wrong. The yeah, it's confusing from there. here. It is. Two balls. At least and I'm a strike. not looking through the backstock this time. Right? That happens to the best of us. Runner goes. Montgomery's going to let him have it. Yep. He had a great jump. It is. I mean, it was a strike, anyways, Lance, so we'll take it two and two. Okay. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Top of the second, 0 0. Menard from the set. He'll kick and fire. That's a rocketed foul. Foul back. That's I heard it hit ground. That's in the willow tree over there. Okay. Hit ground, not car. Willow tree knocked it down. High for a ball, count runs full. Menard lands in a little bit of trouble here after settling in. Looking to get this, looking to get Farrell at the plate. Menard, he'll kick and fire. Oh, swing and a miss, that's to the backstop. Montgomery got it in a hurry, down to Davison for the out. So, that'll be Menard's third strikeout of the game. Nice hustle there by Menard to the backstop. We head to the bottom of the second, folks, 0-0. We'll be right back. Back here, folks, at the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. Andrew the Mahler Menard to stand in to face O'Shaughnessy. Bottom of the second. You know, James, you were talking walk-up music. What would be your walk-up music? If you were to um, it depends. I think Hell's Bells would be my walk-up song Bells. for uh, okay. if I was hitting. Okay. If I was a pitcher, it would definitely be Wild Thing. Okay. Because <laughs> I would not throw a strike. Swing and a miss there by Menard, 0-2 quickly from O'Shaughnessy. Because let me tell you, Lance, I was not a pitcher for a reason. <laughs> and I was not a baseball player for a reason. Ooh, Menard goes down on three pitches at the plate. Didn't even lift his bat, did he? No, I don't. Oh, no, he swung at one. He swung at one? Lance. Okay. Now Jacob Davison's going to stand in. Like I said, the brother of Olivia Davison, who is good, good soccer player, good basketball player, played softball as well. She's very good at that. Down in Peoples. There was a player a number of years ago. I can't remember if he played. He played for one of the West Coast teams, whether it was the A's, the Angels, or whatever. Um, he used uh, William's Careless Whisper for his walk-up music. Yes. And I thought that was brilliant. That was really cool. So you know what? I, I, you know, I, I would use... I'd saunter up to, I'm going to go old school. Billy Paul's Me and Mrs. Jones. That would be my walk-up music. There you see, yeah. Davison offers at that one. That's a good one, Lance. Don't know if I've ever heard that one. My mom probably has. I bet she has. You can go home and look it up. It's a great classic 70s soul song. That would be my walk-up music. Outside for a ball, 3-1 and one now to Davison. Good eye at the plate. Tough to lay off some of those too, Lance. Sure is. Shani E winds and fires. Ooh, Davison, it looks like he's not swinging fully, Lance. It's kind of a check swing every time. Yeah, he was kind of trying to hold, he was definitely trying to hold up on that one. Three and two, you count, one out. 
from Lance, another man in attendance over there, Fabulous Freddie Larson. Well, I haven't seen Fabulous Freddie in quite a while. Davidson goes down swinging. Yes, he does. Back-to-back -back Ks for O'Shaughnessy to start the inning. Lance, the pitchers are mowing him down today. Sure are. Could as, be a quick game. As Dano Dan DeGroslier stands in. Dano, he'll poke up. <laughs> yeah, Dano. He'll get him going, Lance. Swing and a miss. Yeah, Lance, I don't say his last name right, so I'm just going with Dano from yep. now on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you think I say it bad, you should hear my grandmother say it. It's worse. Strike two. <laughs> What's this pitcher's name? O'Shaughnessy? O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy. That's how I'm pronouncing it at least. Pitching a great game. He is. Whoa for a ball. Ball and two strikes. Yeah, Lance, he's throwing the ball hard, throwing a lot of strikes. Been making it tough. To say he's accurate. But real accurate. And Lance, the X-Man, Xavier Hill in attendance. Oh. Everybody Gotta love the X. The Stars and three strikeouts yeah. in a row for O'Shaughnessy to set down the Wildcat Solid. bats. So down go the Wildcats. One, two, three. Lance, this might be a quick one for us today. Well, I don't know. Somebody's got to score or else we could go forever, you know? I don't know. True, I don't see Lance. that happening right now. But All right, we'll move to the bottom of the second. We'll be right back, folks. So Lance, I just got a uh, standings update. Mm -hmm. Hazen sits at the top of Division Three with a 12 and one record, and Thetford comes in at third at nine and four. Uh, I mean, you can almost toss out the records when these two teams get together. Though I mean, this is a great rivalry in all the sports that we play. So. Oh, it is, Lance. You remember? Yeah. I remember an electric game just yeah. back in 2018 here when Thetford beat Hazen in the quarterfinals in basketball. So we move along to the top of the third. You're watching Hazen Wildcat Baseball here on HCTV, Channel 1080. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gntcc.lnsd.org. James Salvis with the play-by-play. -play. Lance all here doing tag along. So a 1-1 count now to Brooks. And after freezing to death for most of the games this year so far, it's kind of nice to be in the sun. Yes, two and one now. See, Menard not happy about that one, Lance. He wanted that strike. Who do we have at the play, James? Brooks, Liam Brooks. William Brooks. Swing and a miss. Man, he took a cup for Calderwood. He did. Could feel the breeze up here. Menard, he'll kick and fire. That's it, hard on the ground. Oh, just past the glove, Lance. That was a rocket to third base. Yeah, Lyle tried to get over there. That ball was traveling. Lance, I'm not sure. That had a vapor trail behind it. Yes. You know, Lance, I'm not sure what the scores would mark that. I think they'd mark that as a base hit because I don't know if Lyle was trying, like, could have made a play on it. Or yeah. I'd mark it as a base hit, probably. That's what I'm thinking. I'm sure some people would mark it as an E6 but I, or an E5, but I wouldn't. Didn't make a play on the ball, so there's no way it could have been an error. All right, number 37. Yes, that is Andrew Spooner, the catcher. Okay. Menard now pitching from the stretch, Lance, with a runner at first, hit on the ground. Rooney Double quickly pumps. to second base. Safe at first, Lance, but they get the lead runner at second. You see Moody a little bit delayed moving over to the bag there. Right, yeah, they saw Lyle kind of give the double pump because uh, He wasn't Brenner sure wasn't whether he was going to have yeah. time to go to second. <laughs> Should have just flung it over to first. So we've got a courtesy runner coming in for Spooner. Oh, we do. I'm trying to figure out who that is, Lance. We saw Spooner make a nice play there uh, early in the game to pick off uh, Tyler. That was what, first inning? Yes. They picked Tyler off on the steal attack. Lance, that's going to be number four. Evan Patterson, he'll come in and run All right. for the catcher, Spooner. I don't blame him, Lance. You know, I don't blame the catcher's him. legs fresh. Save his legs. As now standing in, Xander O'Shaughnessy, the pitcher. Okay. Menard now, quick pickoff move to first base, he's safe. Man, doesn't Jacob Davison just look like a first baseman? He does. He just looks like a first yes. baseman, looks natural over there. <laughs> Menard from the set, he'll wind and fire. Swing and a miss. Ooh, quick tag, Lance, good throw. Hoping to catch him. Thought he was going to catch uh, Patterson I sleeping over there. At first I haven't base. seen James going up to first quite this often in any game that I've done so far this year. No. I have not either, Lance, in the one game that I've done. Lance, I'm assuming, you know, if all goes well, Hazen should get a few uh, home playoff games. Yeah, I would say definitely. 
Uh, one game left, they go on the road. I, can, I looked it up, I cannot remember who they played. I cannot either. Have they played Peoples twice, Lance? I know it's not Peoples. I do know that. Peoples had their senior night today, Lance. Okay. Down at... Uh, Big swing. Down at Peoples. Forget who they were seniors. As Lance, they're doing pretty darn well in D2. I believe they're eight and one right now in D2. Solid. Swing and a miss. Fourth strikeout of the day for Andrew the Mahler Menard. Now standing in Lance is Nolan Pepe, one of the seniors for the Thetford Panthers. See what Pepe can do with one man on and two outs here in the top of the third. Yes, you see Pepe, the lefty Lance, in the box. One of few, uh, he might be the only lefty in the Panthers lineup. And speaking yeah, right of which, that ball is tattooed out to right field. Skirstad, that's Still under his down. glove. Baker over to make it. They're gonna have a man score here. Comes the play at the plate. Oh, and play at the plate. Got it. What a relay by Tyler Rebard from the outfield. That was a great play. You see out there, that was Baker to Rebard to Montgomery for the tag at the plate, and that saves there a run. Go. What a play by the Hazen defense there. Bedford trying to get aggressive, see if they can get a run on. I didn't think they were going to get the throw in. That was a fantastic play. I didn't either. Play. But you see, Rebard had other plans. Rebard on a rope to Montgomery, and Montgomery right there to block the plate, and they had him by two steps almost. They did. He was out by a mile, Lance. What a great play. So, heading to the bottom of the third, folks. 0-0 zero, zero still. We will be right back. Lines under heavy rain, fill lines between two and pain. It's a long, strange trip, it's all insane. You ain't never gonna be the same. Live life through the night, thin line of lightning strike. Sometime. So, Lance standing in here. Back, bottom of the third, a 0 0 game. Owen, the Scorcher, score stats. Yes, stands in. The Scorcher. Let's see if the Scorcher can get some hits. He's, you know, he's had a pretty hot bat for the Cubs so he far has. this season. Cooled off last couple of games, though. Yep. See if he can get back on it now. Nice pitch there by Oshani Lance. He's throwing the ball really well. For he the has been today. on this game so far. He's throwing game. hard, throwing a lot of strikes. Accurate. Yes. Yep, he hasn't wasted a lot of pitches. He has not. Lance, I would say his percentage of first pitch strikes is very high. Yeah. See what the Scorcher can do here. Yeah. One and one. You know, I also wouldn't be surprised, Lance, with his speed, maybe they can drop a bunt down. Possibly just to get a man on, you know? You know? Yeah, Brendan Moody coming up next. He's been swinging a good bat as well. Only one hit today for the Wildcats, Tyler Rebert. Nice curveball there, a little high. Two and one now to Scorstad, the Scorcher. It's a great nickname, Lance. You always find the best <laughs> ones for people. I do my best. There we go. Right back, to the right back to Oshani Yee, and he's just going to underhand over. flip her over first. Brendan Moody. Yes, little Brendan Moody stands in, like I said. Son of Brendan Moody. <laughs> Brendan Moody, his dad, like I said, Lance, a great race car driver at yeah. Thunder Road. Tied for the all-time wins lead in the Flying Tiger division. Top of the lineup, Jade Baker on deck here. Yes. The butcher, the baker, the home run maker. Oh. <laughs> Last game he was the hit maker, yeah. the RBI maker. Had a great game. Struck out his first time up here though. He did. Let's see if he can. I believe O'Shaughnessy has at least four or five strikeouts. I think he has five strikeouts on the mound today. He's throwing well. As we said, one and one now on the way. Moody down to first base, speared by the first baseman. Great Moody, good contact there. Great play by the first baseman. Now Baker coming up for his second at bat, Lance. He wants redemption. Yes, he does. His senior night, you know, last regular season game here at Hudson Field. So exactly. He's trying he's to make be, something happen. Like you said, Lance, the butcher, the baker, the hit maker. Let's see what he can do. Oh, hit Three. hard on the ground, shortstop. He's gonna whip it over to first base, and the Cats go one, two, three again. Three up, three down here in the third. Score still zero, zero. We'll be right back. Oh yeah, no, it is. Lance, our favorite Thetford Panthers player, uh, Boone Fahey, standing in. Yeah, moving along here to the top of the fourth. You're watching a fast-moving game here at Hudson Fields. Your Asian Wildcats playing the Thetford Panthers. HCTV Channel 1080, worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors, 
Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lsd.org. Head on the ground, shortstop Rivard scoops it up, whips it over to Davison at first base. One quick out there for the Mahler on the bump. Lance, as you heard there, a classic number one hit from uh, John Denver. Thank God I'm a country boy. Yeah, great. In between team. innings. If I remember right, I think. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, never mind. I don't know what I'm thinking. It got this Wildcat crowd rocking, though, it Lance. I will tell you that. Everybody clapping along. John Denver. Eh? I'm waiting to hear center field by uh, John Fogarty. I'm waiting to hear Sweet Caroline by uh, Neil Diamond. Seventh, yeah. Swing and a miss by Owen Goodrich. Could go for another Tom Petty song, too. He's always good. Big Tom Petty fan, Lance? I saw Tom Petty back in the, ooh, there's a hit. There's a big hit. Weston out to right field. Scorestad under it, though. A can of corn out there for Scorsad, Lance. Can of corn, one of my favorite baseball expressions. Sure is. I saw Tom Petty back in the summer of uh, 1987. It was a three-band show that night in the New Haven Coliseum. It was the Del Fuegos, who are a great, they were like a Boston bar band, um, rock band. And then George, the Georgia Satellites. And they were at their peak at that point. And then Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Never heard of those first two. You've never heard, you've heard of the Georgia no. Satellites. I have heard you've of heard, the Georgia Satellites. You've heard the song Keep Your Hands to Yourself. Yeah. Okay, that's the Georgia Satellites. Okay. And uh, my mom looked at me and said, you do know them. Yeah. Uh, it was a great triple bill. Well, I said third row. Great so you were pretty bill. close. Yeah. Great triple bill. As Gilman fouls that one back. One and one count now. Actually, one and two count now, Lance. With two outs. And two outs. Fly out in the ground out for Menard so far. See what he can do here. Gilman now. Or Menard, he'll wind and fire to Gilman. Gilman fouls that one back. And that's on the ground, Lance. On the ground. Safely on the ground. I see, Lance, I don't typically park this close to the field. Any I, baseball I field. I park far away. I value my windshield. Head on the ground. Ooh, Rooney, that one ate him up a little bit, but... Oh, easy play. What am I talking about? What do I know? Routine play there for Rooney. Scoops it up, throws him out, no problem. It was hit sharply. We'll give him that. It was. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth, 0-0. Zero, zero. Is some ACDC coming on? Folks, as you hear Lance Hall and I getting the oohs and ahs from the crowd, nothing new there. <laughs> I like to consider Lance and I the two best in the business. And yes, I don't know about me, James, but I know you are. And yes, I'm biased. Speaking of which, T-Rex with his second hit of the game. That's a little bloop shot into left field. So, the Wildcat offense looking. You see a big turn there by Revard at the first base. Tyler's always going to try for two. Yes, he is. Now Montgomery standing in, Lance. It must have been that ACDC getting fired up, courtesy of his mother, Sue. Sue I can tell you, I can tell you a fantastic ACDC story. Guys, got a big track. When we get a little break, do we have a break? Spencer over there giving signals. Yes, he is. Montgomery to stand in, though, Lance. Here in the bottom of the fourth, with the runner at first and nobody gone. O'Shaughnessy from the rubber. No one and fire. See, Montgomery lays down a beauty bunt. Tyler going. Revard heads up base running. Oh! Calling him safe. And they're calling him safe at third base. The home plate umpire right there. And as you said, Lance, the umpire is standing right there. The umpire right was standing there. right there, so he had to see it. Revard doing his best boogaloo to avoid that yeah. tag right there. Twist and turn. Like that turn there, Lance? Boogaloo. I like that, the little boogaloo. Brent Curtis taught me that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, Brent Curtis is the dean yes. of, of Vermont. Now. Yes, he is. When, uh, when I think of Vermont commentary, I think of Brent Curtis, Mr. Bada Bing himself. Absolute legend in terms right. of commentary. So Lyle Rooney at the plate. One out, runner on third, because they did get James at first. But it was a great bunt by yeah. James Montgomery. Excellent what a bunt. beautiful sacrifice bunt. And Tyler hit second and never even thought about slowing down. He did. Spencer Howard said, nobody, Ty, come on. And he turned on the wheels. 
Rooney fouls that one back. He's on it. O'Shaughnessy, though, Lance, has been a tough guy to hit today for the Panthers. He's pitched very well. He's been on. Throwing the ball exceptionally well. Has not missed the zone a lot. He's hit the strike zone quite often. Yeah, he is, he's been accurate. Shawnee now. He's kept, you know, a lot of the Hazen hitters hitting the ball on the ground. You know, we haven't seen him hit, you know, in the air a whole lot. Either swinging or missing. Or they go to third, chase Tyler back. Lance, you know, they think he's going to steal home like Jacoby Ellsbury or Ricky Henderson. I've seen it. I saw it once. Yes. Lance, you want to talk about probably the greatest base stealer of all time, Ricky Henderson. Yes, he was. Excellent base stealer. That's back to the backstop. Rebard on his way home. He's going to headlong dive. Safe at the plate. And the Wildcats are on the board. By score of one zip. Nice so aggressive there, right? base running there. Yes, you see Rebar. Man, Lance, it seems like Rebar gets tangled up down there a lot. He's not scared of nothing, I can tell you. Yeah, he's got that tall, lanky frame, you know. Sure does. Rebar's a tough kid. <laughs> so Rooney still stands in. I believe it's a 2 2 count. Lance. Base is clean here. Yes, with only one down. That's in there. Count runs full. Now Oshani is going to allow the first run, Lance, and yes, that will be earned. Oshani is thrown well. Yeah. Even though the one run, Lance, he's still throwing the ball extremely well. Uh, really well, yeah. I mean, the, the the run, you know, he gave up, you know, the hit to Tyler, but other than that, it was aggressive base running. Yes, really. Menard foul over behind third. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Lance, I don't think one run is going to win this game. No. Not between these two. These two, but like you said, Lance, just the rivalry in every sport, but Thetford, a great, great yeah, athletic school. Always play stuff. Yeah, great school. I DJ down there a couple times back in the day, and uh, kids are always nice. Nice That's setup, and yeah. Outside for a ball, one and two now to Menard. Long ride, but at least it's all interstate. You know? But a beautiful setting down there, too. They're high up on the hill there. And, uh, yeah. Nice, nice place. And Menard, he pokes one through the gap between the third baseman and the shortstop. Menard on with a base knock. So the Mahler with a base hit, the third hit of the game for the Wildcats. Revert has the other two. Now Jacob Davison stands in. Like I said, vintage Lance with no batting gloves. Man, let me tell you what, you hit one off the barrel of this bat. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna feel it. There's Stingers, ooh, that looked a little low, but call the strike anyways. Oshani, now you see pitching from the stretch, Lance, with a runner on base. Get your delivery a little bit quicker to the plate. Oshani steps off, Lance. I thought Jake backed out or didn't Oshani step off? He a little bit of both? Off, I think. Could have okay. been, yeah, could have been both. Went kicking up just a tiny bit here. That was nice. See, Spooner guy. fakes a throw down to first base, but count's going to be one and one now. In there for a strike, a ball and two strikes now to Davison. <laughs> Low for a ball, two and two. Nice eye there by Davison. Two and two, two outs, bottom of the fourth. 1 0 lead for the Wildcats. He's not five, six, like and a pair of shoes for Oshani Lance. I believe he picks up K number six on the day, throwing the ball well. That'll end the inning, but the Cats do manage to put a run on the board. Go up one zip. Yes, we'll be back in the top half. All right, moving along to the top of the fifth here at Hudson Fields at Hazy Union High School in Hargamont is the Hazy Union Wildcats leading the Thetford Panthers one zip after putting the run on there and the bottom of the fourth. You're watching Wildcat Baseball on HCTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors, they both Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport Hayes Athletics, and Green Mountain, Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lsd.org. Well, Lance Dempsey McGovern stands in now Dempsey to face the Mahler. He's got a 1-1 one -one count. Now, we heard that ACDC song last inning. You know, they played some Joan Jet before his ACDC. There's a shot. Oh, scoop. Scooped up. 
Nice scoop there by Rebar. Good throw to first base. Now, pre, pre Bon Scott James, they had another vocalist. His name was Dave Evans. And I got that to, must have been way back. Way back. And I got to interview him back uh, a number of years ago. And I read a story that I asked, and he validated it. Okay, this is a very, very early incarnation of ACDC in the infancy of the band. They played a Greek wedding out on a lawn. Shot. Oh, that one hit a car. Yes, that was off the Toyota Sienna. They were the reception band for a Greek wedding. It was like the friend of a friend of a friend. So at one point, of course, and he talked about how they set up the stuff on the back lawn and they had the, you know, the wedding and then they had the reception and everything. Of course, at one point, somebody requested Zorba the Greek and the band did not know the song. But he said Malcolm Young, who was a rhythm guitarist, who coincidentally was a better lead guitarist than Angus, but Angus was a better showman. Yes. He had a tremendous ear for music. And he said, give me a few minutes. And he took his guitar and he went around behind the hedge about 15 minutes later, he says, okay, boys, this is how it goes. Fall in, follow me, and Lita. And they played Zorba the Greek that afternoon. Head on the ground to third. Oh, Rooney scoops it. On to first. He got him. So two quick outs for the, the Mahler and the Wildcat defense. Lance, that's a neat story. So, yeah, an early incarnation of ACDC played a Greek wedding and played Zorba the Greek. That's cool, Lance. Yeah, Glad you know I that. I love getting stuff like that. And I mean, you've interviewed quite a lot of singers in your time, Lance. Phew. Liam Brooks stands in for the Panthers. Two down now, top of the fifth. Menard wines and fires. That's low, nice stop by Montgomery. Lance, let me tell you, these two have probably played catch in the yards thousands of times. Uh, they have. The cousins, Andrew Menard and James Montgomery. Uh, that's the thing, there's, there's a lot of lineage, there's a lot of uh, camaraderie on this team, there's a lot of history here with these players that have there played is. together forever. They have, Amazing literally team. forever. All four of these seniors have been playing together for years and years and years. Yeah, I'm sure they played Little League and uh, went through and Babe back. Ruth and everything else. Yeah. Yes, two outs now, back-to-back -back uh, strikes there for Menard. I, I mean, and Tyler played baseball all last season, all over New England. He did, and a swing and a miss there by the Mahler. Lance, I believe that's six strikeouts for him as well on the bump. And they go down easy at the uh, top of the fifth right now. So Cats up, one zip. Yes, we head to the bottom half of the fifth. We'll be right back. No. Moving along to the bottom of the fifth. I liked that last musical selection a lot, a lot. Dan De Grosjean stands in. Anytime I can hear when the levee breaks, I'll take it. And Dano pops one up. Oh, pitcher is going to catch it, though. You see Lance O'Shaughnessy remains on the bump for the Panthers, and rightfully so. He's thrown a good yeah, game. Yeah, he's a great game. Really good. Now, is that considered a can of corn, or is that just a little pop-up? That's a little pop-up. That's a little pop-up. Can of corn is it's gotta a, be a little in, higher. A little higher, a little further out. A little higher, a little further can out. Can of corn. Okay. Yes. Scorcher up next. Owen Scorstad, that's high for a ball. 1 0 count now to him. Lance, did you wind up having your grilled cheese you talked about the other day? I did. I went home and I made myself two grilled cheese and they were stellar. Now 1 1 to Scorstad. What about tonight, Lance? You said baseball puts you in a grilled cheese mood. If it's still there, we've got mac and cheese that my wife Jamie made last night that if there's still any left, I'm definitely going to scarf some when I can. Makes sense. It's always better the day after, you know? It is. It's like cold pizza. Lance. Exactly. Scorch. Oh, rocket there over towards the <laughs> Wildcat bench. See that, Lance? Little Everybody scrambling. Foul. Yeah. Lance, that would have been right in your territory if you were down there still. Yep, I'd have quit. <laughs> that would have been it. That would have been it for me. Lance's HGTV days would have came to a close right there. And Scorstad, the scorcher, he was scorching down the base path, Lance, but good throw. Comes little Brendan Moody. Yes. Number one. Little Brendan Moody standing in. Give us some great baseball players that have worn the number one, James. I know you know some. Uh, Ozzie Smith wore okay, number yeah. one. Ozzie Smith wore number one. Okay, I thought that, but I wasn't sure. Uh, Dante Bichette, I believe, wore one for a little while. Oh, right back to the mound. 
That's a routine play over to first. This is what we've seen. He's, you know, he's keeping the, the balls on the ground when they do get the hits, and they're making easy yes. outs like that. So, we're gonna move along to the bottom of the six. As we hear, we'll be right back. As we hear, drop kick Murphy's. Here we go. The butcher, the baker, the hit, home run, and RBI maker, Jaden Baker. So has not, uh, has had an off day here. We still make some couple of nice plays yes. out in defense, but. Uh, but like you said, Lance, so Shawnee here is throwing the ball extremely yeah. well for the Great Panthers. pitching, great pitching today. And fouled there, first pitch swinging by Baker. As you know, as always, Lance, Mike demand Baker in attendance. Absolutely. It's not gonna be a Hayes and Wildcat baseball stream if we don't drop in Mike's name. Mike demand. Baker. That's outside for a ball. One and one now to Baker. <laughs> and I got to tell you, I know how Mike feels. You know, you're watching your kids play. I mean, we're, 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 we should get a home playoff game, but, you know, senior night, last regular season game here at home, it, it's an emotional thing. It know, is. It is. You know, watch. Lance, especially. I went through it twice. And, yes, uh, you did with Joey and Cody. Yeah. Two very good soccer players in their own right. It goes by. It goes by way, way too fast. And I was warned, and I tried to heat it, and it still went by fast. Yes. Three and one now. Oh, Baker right will watch out. You know, three and one, Lance. You got to take. Yeah. I mean, unless he really grooves one. Which, yeah, like you really got to get a pitch to hammer. Like that, for instance. Baker smokes that one. Oh, Fahey under it, though. Oh, the center fielder, Fahey Lance. He made it a nice back. play. He had a beeline on, the, on it the whole way. Yeah, I mean, great hit. Lance, hand. he made a nice play. Or, yeah. I'm sorry, that wasn't Fahey, Lance. That was, uh, I mean, look, that was a nice poke there by Baker. Yeah. Really nice poke. Tyler Rivard, about the only batter who's had success today. Yeah, that's that Jake Gilman down. out there in center, Lance. Nice range out there to get Excellent. to. Excellent, yeah. I mean, he had a beat on it the entire time. That's why you play center, Lance. Yep. Uh, Rivard, what, two for two? Yep. And has scored the lone run here in the game off some nice, aggressive base, run. base running. Sure has. 1 0 now from Oshana Yee. <laughs> Rivard's going to ask for time, step out, gain himself here. So he looks to try and go three for three at the dish. Tyler, just an all-around great athlete for us. You know, he is a four-sport athlete. Yeah, played goalie in soccer. I mean, base, basketball, you know, 1,000 points, 1,000 rebounds. Uh, incredible baseball player and uh, golfer as well. Yes. Lance, the only player in Hazen history with 1,000 points and 1,000 rebounds and probably going to be the only one ever to do so. Love to watch Tyler. Played inside. You didn't, you know, it's, I think Tyler, I don't know if he ever did make any three-pointers. We talked about it this last He game. did. He did, Lance. I remember his freshman year. Okay. He, he had won his freshman year, I believe. Other than that, you know, he played inside, doing all the dirty work. Took a beating every game. He did. Started dunking this year, too. Yeah. That was a lot of fun to watch. Ty Slamma Jamma. Yes. Hey, that's a good nickname, Lance. Ty Slamma Ty, Jamma and Ty the Slamma chairman Jamma. of the boards. Yes, Ty Slamma Jamma and Chairman of the Board. Montgomery up two outs, top, uh, bottom of the sixth. And Lincoln, the Prez Michaud. The Prez, yep. The first Prez pitch, first pitch to me, uh, to Montgomery. <laughs> Ball, I almost said to Michaud. Lincoln doesn't play big. Oh, Montgomery ropes one. That's a fair ball down the left field line, Lance. And They're gonna say hands up, Lance. That means yeah. a ground rule double as it rolled into the fence. Montgomery happy as he, Gets a nice piece of one down the left field great line. Great hit out to left. And Man, Lance, the if that didn't get in the woods, ooh, that might have been an inside the parker. Montgomery oh, was flying. Montgomery, with both his parents in attendance here, wanted to get a nice little shot for him on senior day. And he did. He did. Now Lyle Rooney licking his chops at the RBI opportunity. I'll tell you, I don't know if I want to go to the underbrush over there to get that ball. That's tick country over there, you know? Yeah, it is. Never know what's over there, Lance. All right, Lyle Rooney up now. Oh, inside. Surprised Montgomery the Hazen outside. dugout didn't tell him to wear that one, Lance. As like you said, I, I, you would not want to wear it. No. No, I would jump out of the way all the time. As he stepped off, Lance, I thought he had to make a throwback, but I guess not. Umpire standing right there. Ooh, Rooney That's with a cut and a miss. One and one the count. It was a good pitch. Great pitch. 
Two down though, Lance. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Fast moving game. Sure is. And Rooney, that's twisting down the right field line. Is the first baseman gonna get there? No, it dropped. It dropped. Lance, I couldn't see over the Tristan Southworth dugout down there. I couldn't either. Speaking of great athletes, Lance. Yeah, fantastic. Great kid, too. Or a great to go, guy. Decided to go with the Tristan Southworth shirt today, you know, being this close to Memorial Day and everything, so. Yes, the Saturday, Tristan Southworth Classic. Oh. Montgomery in a pickle. And he's tagged out. And so, Lance, that, you know, Montgomery wasn't sure what to do there. Yeah. That's okay. He says, my bad. Yeah. So we head to the top of the seventh as the Wildcats looking to shut this one down. We will be right back, folks. And folks, we are back here, top of the seventh. The Wildcats looking to shut this one down and Lance Boone Fahey at the plate. Boone Fahey down top of the seventh. He's in Wildcat Baseball here on HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. First pitch, ball by Menard. Sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, jmtcc.lnsd.org. Great programs down there at the Tech Center. Yes. Second pitch there, a strike right down the pipe there by Andrew Menard. So Panthers down to their last three outs. They are. Menard winds and fires. Whoa, for a ball blocked behind the plate by Montgomery. I say, I just heard somebody's phone go off. I hope it wasn't mine. I haven't known to dial 911. Yes, during a game, Lance. During a game. That was crazy. <laughs> it was. Oh, and then Outside for a ball, three and one now. Oh, Menard wants a new ball, Lance. Literally Ask and you shall receive. Sometimes. Menard didn't like that one, Lance. Maybe he didn't have a good grip on it. That's one thing I'll say, Lance. Uh, high school baseball in Vermont, they use Spalding 500 baseballs, and they have a nice deep seam. Good to get a grip on. And that's, Walks well, the new ball was not the solution. But we've seen Andrew sort of be not quite as consistent. Yes. As a Thetford pitcher is. And we got the pinch runner coming in. We do. Take a peek at who that is, Lance. Uh, number four, was that Evan? Evan Evan Peterson. Good. Evan Peterson and standing in is Owen Goodrich. Or no, he's just going over there and he's, he's coaching first base. The runner's still yes. on first. Okay. Oh, okay. So okay, Fahey's still Fahey. at first. That was yes. Fahey, it was Spooner that got the pinch runner. Yes. The catcher, okay. Goodrich at Mom the plate. Momentarily confused. That's good. Menard now. Quick move over to first. I had Fahey confused with Spooner. Yes, Fahey dives back safe. Lance, how do you confuse Boone Fahey? <laughs> the legendary Boone Fahey. I don't know. That's a rocketed foul car. Oh, just missed it, Lance. Oh, I mean, Lance. Well, what I'm thinking is if we get this game over quick enough, then I can go home and watch a little Channel 5 news. True, Lance. Lance, you had your first creamy of the season yet? I have not. I'm probably going to wait till at least maybe like the 4th of July. Really? Yeah. Wait that long, Lance? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you've had yours, correct? Correct. Chopper on the dirts. Foul at the, they're going to say that got the plate, Lance. Foul ball. I have maybe about three a summer, but I, I think I'm going to wait for the 4th of July. Yep. I will probably oh, get that's it. when it gets hot all the time, too, yep. Lance. I will probably get it at Smith's Grocery. And, uh, they do creamies at Smith's Grocery, They do, Lance? yeah. He's got a creamy shack right out back. It's awesome. Come on, guys. Yep. All kinds of uh, ice cream products back there. Smith's Grocery, great store up there in uh, Greensboro. Right up the road from me in Greensboro Bend. Swing and a miss, quick throw down to first, tag by Davis and he's safe on a bang bang play at first base, but Menard's gonna get the out on the strikeout. I believe that's number seven, Lance, for Menard. Unofficial. Unofficial. It's at least six. It's definitely six, maybe seven. Ooh, first pitch by Menard, waved and missed. Who do we have up now, James? 
I am checking on that right Number now, 10. Lance. That is Jake Gilman. Jake Center Gilman. fielder made a heck of a play out he of the outfield. He did, fantastic play. Oh, they, he's going to be in a pickle. And Rebar tags it out at second base. And two outs for the Wildcats. As Lance Menard looking to go the distance here today on the mound. Gonna, now, James, I'm going to dip back into my uh, armchair quarterback lingo for a moment, okay? Yes. Now, say the Wildcats have some whole playoff games. Are you going to be available? Yes. For the playoffs? I should be. Menard winds and fires. Dempsey McGovern at the plate. Swing, hang, and a miss. Tribute to the late, great Jim Mora right there. Playoffs? Oh, oh sorry, playoffs? Lance. Oh, sorry, Lance. This is Jake Gilman. This is Jake Gilman? Okay. Owen, uh, Owen, Gil or Owen Goodrich hit before. I All thought right. it was Gilman. Oh, we'll have Gilman up again. Uh, yeah, Anyways, why not? uh. Oh, never mind, Lance. It was Gilman because he got in the, the pickle down there, okay. down there at the bases. So who's this, number 10? It's it's still Gilman because of the pickle down at first base. I was confused that right. a new hitter okay. came up. It is late. See, it's pretty easy to get confused, isn't it? I'm confused all the time. Especially in baseball, Lance. It's, it's real easy. I, yeah. You see a quick conference on the mound there, Lance. Two down now in the top of the seventh. For Gilman at the plate. Menard's going to kick and deliver. And a backwards K and the final here today, folks, from the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. A one nothing win for your Wildcats to end their regular season at home. And, folks, that will bump the Cats to 13-1 and one on the season and likely a few home playoff games on the way. Folks, thank you. We will see you guys in the playoffs. You have been watching Hayes and Wildcat Basketball here, baseball here on HCTV Channel 1080, streaming the World on Archive at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors once again for today's game, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. James Salvas with the play-by-play. -play. Let's all play tag along. Until next time, live every moment. Love every day. Oh, and folks, my player of the game, Andrew Menard. Absolutely.